I have always actively supported ministries and churches that teach, preach, and bless the people in the name of the Lord. However, I'm careful about selecting the ministries I support. Christians are sometimes lax in how they analyze these matters. Sometimes they give to feel good. At other times they give because they fall for a good sales pitch by an offering hitman. Some people give because it's convenient. You know that some folks decide to add a particular ministry to their monthly giving, and then instead of giving as a form of worship to the Lord, they give out of habit. Now, I mean, it's a good habit, but that's not the way we should give. I mean, some people, they start giving to a particular ministry, whatever it is, and then they never look back. They give because it is suddenly a part of their budget. I assume there are people listening who have been supporting some ministries for so long that they would not even recognize the ministry that they had begun supporting years ago if they looked at the ministry today and the people who run it and what they do. And on the contrary, some folks have been blessed by God and charged by God to support some particular ministry and to their own detriment, they have simply not obeyed. Regardless, I don't want you to be confused. This is not about your stewardship. It's about a difficult lesson that I learned from God. Many years ago, through another very long and painful time in the crucible, God showed me that he wanted me to live and to operate this ministry within the means he provides. And that is why we don't operate this ministry by going to the bank to borrow money to pay for what we cannot afford. Therefore, we operate an international ministry without a fancy building, without a big staff, and without any grant sources or denominational support. Actually, the ministry consists of me, a few of my kids and grandkids, one faithful co-worker, and a few periodic volunteers or part-time helpers. The enormous reach and continued expansion of this work is clearly not to our credit. God has had a plan for this work from the beginning. I guess he loves Jewish ministry and he has a heart for Israel and the Jewish people. I know he has a heart for the lost and for world missions, and so do we. We try to be faithful and sharing his word. Our Today with God project is 100% committed to letting God's word be made available to the people of all nations in all tongues so that everyone can hear. And we just want to let God speak for himself using his own word in their own mother tongues. I do not know what God's future plans are. And I do not presume upon your generosity or God's plans for the financial future of this work. I don't take things for granted beyond the love of God the peace of God and the knowledge that Jesus is coming.